Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Lesson five: Scrum artifacts. Welcome to lesson five of Simply Learn's Agile Scrum training program. In this lesson, we shall talk about the various artifacts associated with Scrum. In this context, we would understand how requirements are managed in Scrum. We will first look into the agenda of this lesson in the next slide. Agenda. Let us now look at the detailed agenda for this lesson. We start off by looking at the backlog. The backlog consists of user stories and epics, and we discuss those in detail. The starting point of any successful project is requirement definition. We shall try to understand how to write good requirements. Finally, we look at how to split up stories. Splitting stories is important because a story should be small and deliverable independently, as a unit, through an incremental iterative approach. Now we will proceed to the next slide. To start with the product backlog. Product backlog. Backlog is a somewhat unfortunate choice of term. Backlog is to be understood here as everything that is yet to be done, not necessarily that the team has fallen behind. The product backlog is the collection of everything, work, that the team could do to add value to the customer. Every such work item is expressed as a user story or an epic. All the items in the backlog need to be ranked and prioritized by the product owner. Ideally, the product owner needs to have a fair amount of detail in the requirements or stories that will be taken up for work within the next two or three sprints. The rest of the stories can be kept at a fairly high level. The backlog is obviously a live document or list that the product owner continuously updates. Next, we will continue with the product backlog. Product backlog. Let us look at a small list of items that can be part of a product backlog. Each item in the backlog is essentially a short description of a requirement or change that is needed to the system to meet a particular customer need or to add value to the customer. The description of the item is provided by the product owner in consultation with the stakeholder.